Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll learn something new in machine learning that is we'll learn about the artificial neural networks. So uh, it's a widely spoken branch which is there in machine learning. So uh, before understanding uh, what is uh, artificial neural networks, uh, let's talk a bit about what is neural networks or where does this term come from. So uh, now I will be briefing something about the biology. So uh, basically, uh, you know the human brain so my drawing is not that very good so uh, this is the human brain how it looks like a rough idea and uh, what it basically has is it has got some nerve cells so uh, these are basically called as neurons now these neurons are into uh, infinite number so it can be up to any number of uh, strands so these are like microfibers so it can be up to any numbers so uh, neurons are connected uh, at one point so this point is basically called as an axon now this uh, axon is connected to other neurons and it's connected to other axon as well so uh, this uh, interconnection of different two axons takes place at a place called as a dendrite now there is a, a connection point between this axon and uh, dendrite so uh, this contact point between an axon and a dendrite is called as a synapse and so this is uh, how the human brain basically works so it uh, based upon the synapses it captures the request and responses and so uh, you can have uh, n number of neurons so neurons are also called as units so in artificial neural networks uh, we will be using the term nodes or units so artificial neural networks essentially is the interconnection of interconnection of assembly of nodes of different types with their structure using a directed link so uh, the simple model of artificial neural network what we have is is called as a perceptron so this term uh, takes us to soft computing so there we talk more about the perceptron and so perceptron is also divided into two categories we have single layer perceptron and multi layer perceptron where we have hidden layers and hidden networks where it is used to simulate some particular uh, biological systems so uh, this is a brief idea of about what ann is basically that is artificial neural network now let's understand how this artificial neural network with the help of nodes and directed links are basically connected so for that let's take an example of our data set so we have a relational database management system so we can see that this is our data set normal data set where we have n number of attributes here we have three attributes and one class label that is y now uh, assume this is a uh, boolean uh, that is data set and it takes two values uh, 1 and 0 and now the output which you can see at y class it's minus 1 so the output can be only minus 1 if it has at least two zeros so whenever uh, you can see uh, two zeros that is here it's minus 1 here you can see two zeros minus 1 here you can see three zeros that is minus 1 so now let us uh, construct uh, artificial neural network or basically a simple model that is a perceptron with the help of this data set so here you can see three uh, inputs or three attributes so correspondingly we'll create three nodes so this will be our x1 this will be our x2 and this will be our x3 now this is connected to some function so let this uh, be input nodes so uh, Perceptrons are basically uh, comprised of input nodes and one output node. So this will be our output node, uh, which will be some sigmoid function or some step function, something like this. So everything is connected to this output node. So these are the output nodes or there is only one output node. There can be many output nodes. So this output will be something like y cap. So it's a mathematical function. And so you apply some bias here that is let's say we have a 0.4 bias and then what we have is something called as a weight so this weights are basically representing the strength of the neural connection 
and this T is called as a bias factor. And this nodes, these are input nodes or it can be also called as units. So thus we constructed a simple perceptron model with the help of a relational database system which we usually construct in all the models. So this is how a perceptron looks like. Now uh, one main question is how the output basically looks like. So the output is something like y cap. So it has, it will take two values basically that is 1 and minus 1. And so the function would be 0.3x1 plus 0.3x2. So now what I considered is I considered a summation function and 0.3x3 and it is subtracted from the bias. So this value holds out to be 1 if it is greater than 0 and for minus 1 this value comes out to be less than 0. Simple. Now uh, this function can also be written as uh, in a more generalized way in terms of you have weights and input vectors. So it can be written as a sine function. So this function is called as an activation function. So it basically activates your neural network or your uh, perceptron model. So it's represented as WD XD uh, plus WD minus 1 XD minus 1 or up till you have W2 X2 W1 X1 minus T. Now this can be even simplified. So this term can be replaced with the help of you can have till here everything remains the same w2 x2 plus w1 x1 then this term can be represented as w0 x0 now here what you did is you considered the weight vector w0 to be minus t and x0 to be 1 so when you substitute this here you get w0 x0 so this is the more uh, simplified or compact representation of this output function or uh, a shorthand way of writing this is y cap is equal to sine of w into d. This is not into, this is a dot product. So this basically represents the dot product of weight vectors and your input vectors which are there. Or you can have d or x instead, anything like this. Now, how does a perceptron layer basically learns a function? So for that, you have some uh, weight vector function, weight function, mathematical function. So that is necessarily written here. So you have some weight of some function at some particular iteration for some particular link. So J represents the link and I represents the iteration. And whatever iteration you may be training your model. So whenever you do the uh, training in perceptron, these are the functions which is applied to the training phase. And so it uses a old weight function in order to compute the new weight function with some parameter. So this lambda is called as learning rate. And what you see here, this is called as the prediction error. It computes the actual with the previous and it's multiplied with the input weight vector. So if uh, this uh, mismatch is there uh, with the actual training data which you expect to be seen and if uh, there is some mismatches occurred that means uh, your training model is not perfectly uh, evaluated. So uh, after that you have some uh, filtering mechanisms in order to keep your weight vector updated. So well that was all regarding a small introduction regarding the artificial neural networks. So hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated watching this video. Please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.